And now we go to a reporter, Isani Caetano, who live in San Antonio Village, where he have a breaking story. So a strange news has come out of San Antonio Village, Zakayo, this morning. It looked like a team of Americans were in the drill for oil in the offering cave area yesterday, find more than what they made the bargain for. To make them get inside of the cave, they had to blow up a stone wall with the Maya they may build over a thousand years ago for seal off the entrance. To do that, they may use dynamite. Strangely now, two of the people that were a part of the team dead. And the dead half of our strange fever, we we'll still try to understand how we really the on. Bodies they drop left, right, and center. The doctor and the expert they try to figure out where really they go on, but they can't get a handle of the situation. One thing though, the government I believe not asleep. They don't send up BDF soldiers into the area to lock down and quarantine the village to avoid the spread of this disease. The foremost thing for the BDF agenda that to secure the safety of the Belizean people. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that. Yes, I was. You're sewing mask? <laughs> For my son, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I say, well, um, I, I better do my mask. I say, when I go to town, well, because I have those ones that it's from the shop, but I mm -hmm. think I don't feel good with that. You know, mm -hmm. I need to do mine. So yeah. I'm creating mine now. Yes, <laughs> yes my copal. And then I do my smudging, I burn copal and everything because I said this is the time that we have to be more mm. spiritually connected. Yeah. Because um, there is too much unbalances. Mm -hmm. So t tell me, what, what do you think is, mm -hmm. um, how are you dealing with this whole global crisis? Um, I think if we see it, you know, um, it have two faces then. One face is positive. Mm -hmm. And then the other face is like, I think the scary part where we like humans, you know, are very scary of it. Um, because we feel we can be, you know, like um, contaminated. We can catch it, you know, we can get sick. We can even die. We have to protect our elders, our communities, our people. So I think that's the scary part, but the positive part, you know, is like, for example, if we, you know, um, see 
uh, mother art is respirating um, better there is not much um, contaminations like before right now you know we are going back again to where we came from you know be more you know like connected to mother art um, growing our own food and um, like nourishing our seeds now uh, everybody is hungry for those local seeds they come and they say oh, you know um, what seed do you have i have this seed if you have this seed you know it's like kind of exchanging the seeds now everybody's you know like oh you know treasuring those um, seeds that is that it worth our life and i think that's the beauty of it you know that it's forcing people to come back again or if not, you know, to be more spiritually connected because in this, you know, um, times we really need to be more spiritually connected. We just cannot, you know, um, lose focus. Um, the more spiritually connected we are, I think we can, you know, um, better challenge this situation. What is the advice you want to give people if you had, you know, um we have to learn how to grow our own things because if things get worse you know then we know that we are very independent our people right now are you know like since the first rain they have been you know um, planting their corns which is the basic food of ours the the, the um, corn the squash and um, palm, um beans and um, plantains all what we eat that's what we are producing right now because Everything is in your garden, everything is with you, you know, you'll burn with it, you grow with it, mm -hmm. but we kind of mm -hmm. forget it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's making us have a, a, a deeper connection to the earth, I feel. Even, uh -huh. my, even myself, mm -hmm. I'm, doing, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. working my garden more. Yes. I have more time. And time, and mm -hmm. then the more mm -hmm. you get connected to it, you know, mm -hmm. you feel the connection because that's where we came from. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're going back. Mm -hmm. We cannot depend much in money right now, but to, like how my dad used to tell us, you know, you have to learn how to plant because one day might be that there won't be no money, but if you know how to plant, then you can survive. And those wise words is here now. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. I'm not doing nothing right now. What's business? I'm not driving taxi right now. I sold my car to pay bills. What do you think is going to happen with this, this mass COVID-19? Uh, I wish the best to our religion. I give the time to the government is open back everything. And I hope America get, get better like it is. God save America. We love America. America is a big mess right now. I know. But God save America. From my uh, quarantine to yours, cheers. Cassava one. Most will be focused from what we've been doing here at the Republica in terms of the foresight that we're having, plant more food because we know that hunger is going to come along the way and shortages start to come. 
when people who are not planning, giving their whole life into the hands of politicians, we don't want to suffer, we don't want to starve, we don't need to take more responsibility for, for no reality. You cannot depend, say, oh, food pantry are open and this and that, all that nonsense. That's going to come to an end. Your politicians are broke. They don't have any more money to be giving away. And hence, there are all kind of things that are happening really right now. All to keep from telling you the truth that you're responsible for yourself. Uh, it's so te flowers, Danny. Makes a nice meal, you know. And medicinal. Yeah, one of my favorites. Uh, at the Republic right there coming up, you know, love these things, man. Little mint butts, you know, for tea. And chaya, healthy food, man. Um, you would never have enough. So we grow a lot. We spread it out like wildflowers, you know. And star fruit, man. Good stuff. I love my jackfruits, man. The vitamins that keeps the illnesses away. Um, I don't know what I'm sorry that I'm sure is here. Mm. A lot of thinking and a um, little bit of foresight in understanding what's coming. Self-sufficiency is the way. We don't have to start to become responsible for the self. Plant on the food, turn on the yard into a garden, front and back, wherever there is space to plant some seeds, put something in the ground so that you could make a meal one day from what you plant in your community, in your yard. Let's say you wake up in the morning, there's food there, you won't have to buy. And I always think about Peter Tash, right? He sing this song, hey, run left money, become money get funny. Well, trust me. Your money is getting funny, and a lot of them will run left them blood clad money because money gets funny. You won't be able to buy shit. You don't have it, but you can't buy nothing because there'll be no value to it, right? Trust me, this shit is coming. You have to get ready, get prepared, get ready. You know? It's a, the, the COVID business is nothing compared to what's going to come behind the shit. Shit comes from the soul, you know? Nobody teaches me how to do the hands, pick up one drop and boom! So I rest, eh? Oh, 
How long you how long you to do this um food pantry thing bro? A month and a half. Going for two months. And um, like how much people in the community you that say you drop off good stuff? I try to reach 30 people a day. In, in the far skirts, we, we really can't come out and really can't move right. around, you know? The real less fortunate. And I, and I, and I, I not just they go right around my neighborhood and, and, and give things out, right? So, my family in Europe and the people with the help, you know, donate. You understand? I show them where the money go. We, you know, receipts. I buy a sack of flour, a sack of sugar, a sack of everything. Every every two days, you know, has one sack, one sack of flour, and 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 a sack of beans and a sack of a, a rice. All right, so we're headed towards the credit union. Don't know what to expect when we get there. It might be. I know in the past couple of days there have been really long lines in places like the credit union, banks, Western Union, MoneyGram. So I don't know, I might have a little something from a tooth fairy in there. I'm gonna go check it out. See if the tooth fairy came. Yeah. Mask up. Cops are here, you know. Okay, so I just got out of the credit union. Um, everybody's wearing their masks. It seems that it didn't take too long. It was probably like 30 minutes, 30 minutes or less. Uh, but as you can see, the new protocols for today is masked up. It was kind of strange being inside a bank or a, or a money establishment, financing establishment with a mask on. Um, but these are the new changes. I'm off to get a haircut now. Is this the first cut after, you know, quarantine? Yeah? Yeah. I don't know, I've never seen anything in a real lifetime where you get this much attention. You know, obviously, social media and World Wide Web, all that, me and I wrote, huh? I mean, for the first time, people could just whip out for and spot out their opinion and news travel fast and all this. How much do you think people get affected by the images when they watch about social media? Like coffins and stuff like that. You know, all the mass graves. That's why he says on that video, just keep up on the Honestly, if I give my personal opinion, physically I think nothing changed. Physically but mentally like keep in mind what I see the world. That changed like forever. Like we are never go back to that normal because everybody in the world is not afraid and have this fear associated with getting sick. Not age or primitive things will be afraid that people go sick. No, like every time somebody can't four four bitches, you have you have funny ways if you can't put your air face, right? <laughs> Before COVID, if you were like sneezing aggressively and look like you're dead, people would be like, yo, yo, yo. And I think that kind of make it convenient now with these new established norms for germophobic people to feel justified. You know, I tell you, I told you. You just start to cough and then this very, very hot fever and... Can I talk to you for a minute, please? What's your name? Me? Miriam. Thank you, young Dr. Jeff. I must be honest with you. People been coming in. It's weird. The what, Dr. People Tell been me dying, you know. It's, it's just, it's like a curse, man. What? It's you don't want to tell me that I'm going to curse? People been dying around me. But tell me where for do, where for do. I don't even I have to save my boy. I know you have to save your boy, but hear what? You have to stay here. You can't go nowhere because we've been sending people to blaze and we can't leave this town. We you mean we can't leave the town? The town shut down? That the true way people they say? Yeah. The true way people they say all no, day? Anybody that comes in here can't. Who are we supposed to go? I don't 
you know? Any other kind of acting fact? People just been dying of every, every and what people everything do? that been happening. I, I am not aware of symptoms. I mean, weird things. I, mean, I, I can't cure it. And we can't like bathe out with ice water or something that I know you're supposed to be do because you have more fever? Nope. It kills them faster. Oh God. I don't know what to do. Make sure. 